Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Lisa J is with me today <laughs> because guys, we are out on the road. You're out and about and um, we're taking a look in Poundland, see what's going on today. I have no idea what's in Poundland. I haven't been in Poundland at all this year, but um, we're in the middle of a shopping um, mall and um, we're going to have a bit of a nosy. I don't normally go to this Poundland, but um, I thought I'd try it out today and also she's joining me. Yeah, I am. I'm looking for my own stuff in the shop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, she's smart, you know. Hitch a ride with mum. Save so her taking, taking her car and stuff. I mean, this girl's going to all work out, you know. This girl's going to all work out. I think it's a fair exchange. Sometimes you, you drive, sometimes I drive. Today just happens to be your turn. You mean she drove last year when she took me on that bumpy, bumpy ride at Christmas? That's what she's talking about. I resent that. I've driven you lots of times since then. You guys making a film? Can I be in it? Well, you, can, you can say hi if you want to. Oh, <laughs> she's laughing, she gets yeah. it. I'm just taking it. You're taking the mickey? Huh? See, guys, we're meeting all sorts of people here. So, guys, we've finally moved on from the young man that was talking to us. Or, should I say, talking to Anisha. And, um, yeah. So, I what? I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> guys, like, like, people just, I don't know. It's, must be her magnetic smile. <laughs> anyway, we want to get in pound and see what's going on. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> Either way, we're going Poundland, so yeah. Uh, so let's go. She does cleaning herself again but yeah i've been to poundland i must say it's not the most riveting poundland i've ever been to and um yeah they didn't have a great deal in there and the reason why i know that is because do you know that takes uh, we've had this conversation so many times i'm just gonna i'm just gonna ignore it guys if you don't like cats, cats cleaning their bits I'm, uh, what can i say i'm just gonna leave her to it but anyway why i know that Poundland has got a lot more than that in there. Am I, am I bothering you? Okay, I'll move over then. Is that what it is? As I know, Poundland's got a lot more in there because guys, I don't know if you realize, but Poundland are actually online now and they've got an online store. So if you ever wanted to pick up something in Poundland but you couldn't get there, then they do have an online store. And when I've gone online and had a look, they've got so many things in there and also, if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll, you'll get when they do like certain like discounts and they'll give you money off delivery and things like that. So you'll be, when they have the promotions, do you know what I mean? Then you'll be aware and then, therefore you can do what you have to do. But um, 
This panel didn't have a great deal, but there was a few things I showed you as you've seen already. But let me show you some of the stuff that I picked up. Now, one of the things that I did pick up in there, which is, what's up? I think this is what she's talking about. See what it is, yeah? This is called a long reach grabber. If I hold it like that and you go like this, And Tiggs doesn't really like it. So when I was coming in today, I thought, let me test it in the grass. So I did. And it was really good. And it picks up all sort of leaves and stuff. But when I came through the door, she heard the noise. And she was waiting by the, look at her. She was waiting by the door. And she was rather perplexed. She didn't know what the heck it was. The minute she saw it and I went like that, she ran. So what I don't like, I don't like to make her frightened of things. So I had to pretend it was something else. So I thought, it's a back scratcher, Tiggs. And she was like, really? Look. She stands to attention. She thinks it's a back scratcher. So this is, God, this is what I have to do to fool my, my, my cats. Let her believe it's for her. And she's not afraid of it. Do you want your back scratched again? Oh, you want your tummy scratched? Oh, look at you rolling over here getting your belly scratched. <laughs> Guys, she's such a sports ball. But she thinks it's some sort of back scratcher. She doesn't realise. It's not a cat back scratcher. It's my picker-upper. To pick up, you know, the leaves in, in the grass. Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. Like, uh, like I went out and bought it specially for her. Excuse me. Look. She loves it. Can you see all the hair standing up on her back? That's when she's happy. Yeah. I don't know, weirdo. But yeah, this is two quid, guys, for a cat back scratcher, a.k.a. handy picker-upper thing. Two pounds. Right, so that's not all I went for pound and for. <laughs> it's this cat. Guys, I saw these bowls. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're like your mini metal bowls. Now, if you watch me recently, well, not recently, but over the time, you know that I do like metal bowls. Um, because I've got some bigger ones that I bought from uh, I think at the Jane Asher range out of Home Bargains and they're actually um, bigger and I use that to season my meat or to knead my um, flour for like fried dumplings but this is really good for when I'm doing my fruit and veg so for example when I'm making a smoothie in the mornings um, I like put my you know maybe your spinach in here and your strawberries and your um blueberries and what have you and then you can kind of have it in here and you can wash it out ever so quickly but it's really good to well for me personally this would be really good to prepare my fruit and veg because i'm very funny i don't like my fruit and veg being in the same tin that i put meat in i know you wash it out and everything guys but i like different things for different things i don't like to use one thing for fifty thousand things that's just no anyway i like these so they're two aluminium little um tins and they came in at two pounds each now the bigger ones were about three pounds, uh, about three, three pounds fifty in home bargain. So two pounds for these little cute bowls are really nice. I think they're so lovely and stylish. They're really, really nice. I've got two of those. Also, as you would have seen, they've got like a Valentine's section and they've got like, not so much a Mother's Day section, but a lot of these things can be used up to you know, Mother's Day if you wanted to. Because I personally don't do Valentine's the whole yeah i used to but not anymore i'm kind of like i'd rather just have a nice meal with my girls which i always do anyway and i'd rather just not sort of really decorate for it this year so i'm not going to so i didn't really go looking for things to pick up however i did see some things that i i like which you could use for mother's day or use for valentine whichever suits your fancy so what i saw in there was this lovely um nail collection now I'm lo I'm loving this nail collection. Let me just hold it up for you. That nail collection there. So there you've got um, four colours. It's um, let me see now. Rose, pink, berry, and nude. So you've got your rose, pink, berry, nude. Rose, pink, berry, nude. Now, I love them colours. I think they're so nice. But again, this would be a lovely present if you wanted to use it, give it for a Valentine gift, make up a hamper, make up a sort of um, pamper um, basket, 
or you could make up uh, something for Mother's Day or you can just treat your darn self. And guys, I'm treating my darn self because I like it. And I think these would be lovely going into, um, let me hold it this side, it may be able to see it. I think this would be lovely going into, let's, there. yeah, lovely going into like, um, you know, spring and take you way into the summer, these lovely colours. So yeah, it came in at three pounds for that. Um, three pounds for four colours. That's not bad, actually. I mean, I don't know what the quality is like, but I have bought Poundland No Varnish before and I've been all right with it. Um, it's not, you know, top class in the world, but it will do the job. It will do the job, especially I don't keep colours on very long. Um, if you do see me with a colour over and over, like this colour, like I've, I've gotten all the time, it's because I do love it. But now I'm, I'm moving away from the sort of neutrals, moving more into the pastels now. So, yeah, moving further... Now, I love this when I saw it. It's a metal looking, how can, let me just show you that, reflect on the light. It's a metal looking rose um, and it says metallic rose, but actually it's not metallic guys. When I opened it, it's actually, I'll show it to you. Now this came in at two pounds and it says blooming gorgeous. But let me take the lid off, well, the face of it off and show you because that reflects a lot, doesn't it? See? That is so stunning. And when I looked at it, sort of opened it, it's actually, it's not metal. I think that part is like a, oh, that part is like a metal, but it's really not like a solid metal. It's, it's a soft metal, but that's plastic. The gold part is plastic, but isn't it lovely? Isn't it gorgeous? Let me put the backing back in because the backing's falling out. What was that then? Hold on yeah there you go so that's in there and that to me is absolutely stunning now the reason why i like this is because you know sometimes you get like um you've got like a maybe empty um say perfume bottle or you've got like a diffuser bottle and diffuser is very sort of like plain not fancy you can put that red rose in there and that would be stunning now i probably wouldn't put it in with um you know liquid or fluid in the diffuser because you don't know if this bit would rust or not but if you had an empty jar that's really beautiful or an empty little vase and stuck that in it that is really really lovely that came in at two pounds for that one so loving that rose i mean they had lots of the original um plushes with roses you remember them from last year if you don't remember i would try to link my last year poundland um because i bought things then that's why i'm not really buying things because i've got things already so guys i am when i listen last year i went through a lot of my boxes and i started to stack things together and when i realized as a youtuber obviously i've got things for every season i don't need to be buying anymore for for certain seasons because i've got my fill so in terms of like if i wanted to put a few bits out just around the just around for running up to easter they are there, but you might see the odd thing you want to add to it. Do you know what I mean? So that that's a lovely red rose. And to me, I'd use that all year round, not just for one day for Valentine. I'd use it all year. Yeah. I think it's really nice. It's really nice. Anyway, again, they had this pink cup. Loving this pink cup. Really, really nice. And only for a pound. Let's put it over here. This pink cup is lovely. Absolutely lovely with the, the hearts on it. You could make your marshmallow hot drinks with that really really nice one pound and it's nice quality as well the quality is really really nice again this would be lovely to make up your mother's day hamper or gift or valentine whatever you want to do with it guys or just buy it for your darn self as i say as i say guys also saw this in there this is a three-piece um hand cream combo and in here you've got um, two hand creams, one's a wild rose, the other one's a peach hand cream, and you've also got a nail file in there. So you've got three pieces in there. That's the nail file that's striped there, and then you've got the two hand creams in there. This is a great little present or little filler or something you want to give to somebody. Really, really nice. So um, just look, looking at it aesthetically, it's nice to look at. And to me... Um, yeah, for three pounds, it's not bad. Even if you want to buy it for yourself, I'm buying this for myself because guys, you know I love hand cream, but my hand cream that I've had for donkey's years is finally coming to an end. The ones that I told you I bought in Aldi over two, and it's taken me two years to finish it. And guys, I put hand cream in my bag every day and 
I use it daily. And then people say, no, she's got hand cream. Yeah, here, 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 squirt, here. I'm trying to finish it off, mate. Take some more, take some more. Cream your knees if you want to. Cream all the dry bits if you want to. I don't care, I'll stay all day with you. Cream, cream, cream. I'm trying to get rid of the darn thing, guys. I can't get rid of it. I must say, that's the most cost-effective hand cream I have ever bought, and it's from Aldi. It was a Christmas one, it was a green one, and it was Christmas cookie was run, and it was something or the other, something candy cane was the red one. My goodness, if I saw it again, I'd buy it, but it lasts too darn long, oh my gosh. Anyway, last but not least, I bought myself some toilet wipes, till tissue toilet wipes, should I say? Yeah, do like these. Um, let's not go no further about this because you know how my feelings are about this. So, guys, that's my Poundland haul. As I said, the shop itself, the visit wasn't overly riveting, but um, I'll stick to my normal Poundland in future. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably see a lot more than I saw in this particular store that I went to. But um, all the same, I enjoyed my day out. Did you, Tix? She goes, you was gone too long. You took too long. You were gone way too long. Guys, only gone a couple of hours. But she was acting like I've been gone all day. You know what it is? She's too used to me working at home. So, yeah, she's so used to me being at home all the time because I work in my office. That's, she thinks I must, I must just be here all day long and don't go anywhere. Chained to the, to the, to the cat cupboard. Guys, I must say, by the way, I know I'm going on a bit, but I must say, by the way, um, I am loving this top that I bought from um, from Primark. Yeah, guys, I, this is my second time wearing it and um, I love it. It's so nice and warm and fleecy. I know this is not a Primark haul, but it's nice and warm and fleecy. So guys, if you have the opportunity to get something like this, I'll put the Primark haul above or I'll paste it somewhere so you can have a look if you didn't see it. But this is so, 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 so nice. It's so, it's fleecy and velvety and soft and warm. And uh, I didn't have to wear loads of layers. And guys, it's pretty chilly outside. As you can see, it's dark already. Um, and the night, you know, air is coming down. It's quite chilly. But I felt quite snug right up to my neck. I felt snug. So guys, yeah, if you like it, get yourself one. Get yourself one, pretty much seven pounds. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Keep talking. I want to go now, guys. I love you and leave you. I'll see you on the very next video. Don't forget to click and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 10,000. And I would love it if you help us to get there and join the family. Yes, join the family of madness. So I will see you all soon. Take care. See you soon. Bye. You guys say bye, Tix. That's as much as you're going to get from her, guys. She wants to go to sleep. See you later, guys.